Okay, this is a short little video I'm creating for all the people on the G metrics. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, graph design PLC that I host, or I'm just in charge of, I guess. And it's basically for anybody that needs to use G metrics and maybe hasn't used it yet or forgot how to use it kind of thing. So I'm just going to show you how to create some uh, codes for the students to be able to use to actually access G metrics. And then for you to actually assign those in Canvas, and then I'm going to show you how to look at those test results or the uh, geometric results. So you want to log in with your um, school provider account and your email address. If you don't have any information, like you forgot the information, you need to contact. Um, I think her name is April Spencer here, and uh, yeah, that's information. Yeah, right there. Um, so it's just April Spencer, and you can uh, give me an email if you need to get a hold of her information. I can log in, right? So I'm just going to show you this. When you want to create your code, I'm going to go through and create it. So I'm in Garnell High School, so you might have a different high school. Uh, you want to select that high school? So, okay, the practice tests are just to, what it sounds like when you have the G metrics where the learn key is actually the process of them learning the different sessions. I guess they call them, in, in Canvas, they call them modules, but in um, G metrics, they call them sessions. So, you just uh, like learning Photoshop or whatever you word or whatever you're learning is split up in different sessions, like different uh, features you're going to learn. So, the learn key is what that is. So, they have the courses. So and um the practice tests are just what it sounds like practice test and those are really helpful because it, the kids can go over and it gives the description of what the correct answer was and gives them hints stuff like that you know so the courses they have videos and everything so they don't really have as much of that but they do have review missed questions which i actually um prefer to like i mean I prefer to have them do um i feel like i'm the wrong things so i'm going back so my class is actually just ACA, which stands for Adobe Certified Associate. So I actually do these, the full site there. So we only use Photoshop, of, but we have all the Adobe products. So you want to type in your identifier. You want to choose something that you, it's unique to your classroom. Like, so my, my A2 graph design, that's one's GD in the 2021. So I'm just going to put in test right there. But you would put in whatever this is really important for you putting in a specific code that's i kind of did it for each class so i knew each class had like a1 i have a1 2 b2 and 3. so i created a code for each class and so i would probably recommend doing that it helps you later on so um and this one typing some more students um you can just type in I just typed in, I don't, I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's just a code for them to actually get on. And courses per code, okay? I think six things max. So you can actually choose, like I chose, there might be some different options for different kind of courses you're involved with or whatever courses you teach. But of course mine, I choose, you know, the, so then you actually confirm that, okay? And I'm going to go back to inventory if I were to create a one. So I'm going to come back to inventory. So, and it creates a code like this. Okay. Then what you're going to do, it generates that code. So I think you can go to access codes and then look up your code here. So I've created one. I can see that my code is here. And then it creates your little code there. Like you can see this A2 graphic design 2021. This is the code I put in here. And if I want to view that code, then I click on details right here and then I can go and view my codes. So this is, I think this is what it looks like. It shows you my identifier, number of codes is hundred. I put three and six five days. So you want to copy this code and this is the code you're going to give to your students in Canvas. So um, I'm going to go to Canvas now and show you like I create a different assignments here. I just go to assignments and I create one. Then you can see what I've created one. So. So I just explained my instructions. I gave them a link that's a geometric login link for the student side. And you just type in 
Gmetric students, uh, and they log in with their Google. So they all always log in with Google. Um, so you just have them do that, and they can actually put in the code for their class. So I put in A1 code and A2, B2, three, and stuff like that. And then I actually did something to where I didn't, I did it a little differently last year, or I mean the year before that. But, um, and you have to kind of like judge how you think was, what's going to work best. And so I talked with another teacher and I decided to do this uh, screenshots of the pre-assessment and post-assessment. So you can see like this is a, the pre-assessment thing. And so basically you're just uploading a screenshot for each session. For session one, you have a screenshot for the pre and post, and then the screenshot for the session two, pre and post. So, but you can also do it where they actually, I had them before, I think I have them, uh, I think I'll just log in, I'll show you that. So this is what it looked like on the student side. So I created my own student account so I can kind of show them what it looked like, which I prefer, I recommend doing. So you want to use the login with a Google because your Google account is, you know, administration. So I created my own student account. So I should show them exactly what it looks like. And again, I'd recommend doing that. So, uh, and they go to, this. so this one has lessons and videos and stuff like that, you know, I used to make them take a screenshot of all these different things. And once you do them, like I haven't done these. And so these are all great in. So once you do them, then they've kind of colored in, like they turn green. So this is what I had them take a screenshot of. Um, and two years ago, and I decided to talk to another teacher. I think that uh, we were taking screenshots of the pre-assessment. And so I can see that, you yeah. know, but you can do whatever you want to and give them grade based on that. Uh, so feel free to decide whenever you want a course of action you want to take. So that's how I actually assign things in uh, Canvas 2. Then um, I want to show you uh, what it looks like I'll just log out of my student site. So yes. So um, whenever you as a teacher want to go back and look at student scores, um, the reason I did the screenshots is that way it makes it easier for me. I don't have to access Gmetrics and go back and look at them. I can just, like they actually just turned in and I can um, click on the speed grader and it's, they show screenshots of them. So they have to have screenshots of there. So it makes it a lot easier for me to grade things. I can always just be in Canvas. But if you want to go into Gmetrics and do it that way, and then you have to click on reports right here. Okay. And you click on test tracking. Okay. Then you click on your school. Right. And you have all the different, like I actually would click that. The reason I choose access codes for each class is that way you can actually paste in. I'm sorry, not that code, but like I just pasted in for my A1 class and I can click search and it search of all my students for my A1 classes. And then what you want to do, if you want to do it a little more, um, yeah, you can do it that way. You can actually create a student group. You can create code groups. Um, and that's actually going through groups and creating a uh, code group or student group. So I like the code groups because, you know, you have to go through and like, create your group. And so I could create a group here and that way I can search through those. So I can go back to reports and go back to test tracking. And if I want to, then I can click on my school again. Then I can search it by student or access. I'm sorry, code groups. So I can search for my code groups that I created. And so it searches for that. So you can actually search for it. I like the access code, so I give it to each class, but then it's actually um, dependent on the students to create, to actually use their correct code. But um, that way you can actually go back and see if the session one, they did lab and they got 100%, so that different scores here. If you want to grade it this way, you can, um, but I like the screenshot way a little better. It's a lot faster in my opinion. But again, whatever you want to do, is uh, what works, works best for you is what will, what's the best course of action. And so we'll work.
So um, that finishes actually how to create a code, how to upload it into Canvas, and then how to look at those NG metrics. But if you want to actually take a screenshot, which I did this time, some makes it easier for me to create things, you can do that as well. Okay. But uh, thanks for watching.